my name is Molly Kliphiltz and um, I'm originally from the Bay Area and I studied uh, art up at uh, U of O in the late 70s and then moved back to California and uh, finished up at UC Santa Cruz Porter College there. And right after college, I took my art degree and got into design. <laughs> I did, had to earn a living. So I was an interior designer for 17 years. And then when I married Dave in 1990 and started having babies, um, I got back into art. And the way things kind of just started out was really when the kids were in preschool. I uh, had, done, had these drawings that had been sitting in the drawer that I'd done when I was pregnant. And so I, we, we had an auction and so I started, I put some of these drawings little paintings in the auction and um, they were really popular and that's kind of how things actually got started and I was just thinking oh I'd do some stuff for the neighborhood and kind of you know donate stuff and sell stuff in the neighborhood and um, fast forward like I mean several years I was getting big commissions and um, and then Bill Gates ended up buying one of my paintings I mean it's, it's kind of just like really took off and, and, and I was also just playing around with different mediums and expanding playing with getting into really large um, format. So I, was, I just sort of knew I was on the right path and then you know I started uh, bringing in community activities with that, the, 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 the sort of the, the, how the salon started. The year 2000, my husband's former mentor, Edgar Smith, who was an architect, passed away and we ended up having a wake here and his daughter put our address in the newspaper you know, and I didn't know this. So like all, and you know, we had, it was, the house was beautiful. It had art and the flowers and the food and all these people came like that we didn't know, but like, but, and it was wonderful. We, we, we thought, wow, I, I was really nervous about this, but this was really fun. So that kind of gave us the idea. So um, a few months later, I thought, well, let's do it. Let's invite people over and have food and wine and sell art and so, and people had a blast, and it was really fun. So that's sort of how they started. And then we started bringing in like, um, like Scott Poole, poet, and um, uh, Marcus Cito, who's a writer, and Kai Emmons, who was an old friend of mine who had just won the Oregon Book Award, and, um, and then the band Amelia. We, so it just kind of evolved into to more like highlighting the talents of other people, I guess, with more of the art as the background. Um, but several years into doing the salons, I was helping my parents move down in California and I came upon this scrapbook and I started looking through it and there were all these like incredible like paintings and drawings and musical scores. And I remembered my mother had told me that her great grandparents would throw these, um, the, these gatherings and she said they would go on for days and it was at their summer home down on the Monterey Bay down in California and that artists would come, they said they had a stage in the living room and um, you know that people, there would be plays performed and um, musicians and painters and then there would be patrons there and they had told me that Herbert Hoover and his wife had come to this. That was, that was like really kind of, it was like a jolt because Dave and I had been doing similar things for the past few years and when I found this, it helped kind of frame where I was going more. And, and also, it was, it was, I guess it was a validation and also just like amazing.